originally on these streams i was going to actually be doing the uh the grapple levels i was going to be designing the new grapple level i assumed that the files were on this hard drive apparently they're not and i've kind of lost the source files for grapple again <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of impossible but yeah so as a replacement i don't know a lot of you guys will not remember this but around one year ago I had a project due for my computer science class and so I decided to do it in OpenGL and we started learning it. If you don't know what OpenGL is, it's kind of just like, it's like the thing you use to make a game engine. It's like a graphics library, but it's super low level. Issue is, I've kind of forgotten it all now. So here we are, one year later, and we're going to be basically doing the same thing again. This video is sponsored by Unity. Unity is a game engine. It's actually the game engine that I use for most of my games. Uh, and it's, it comes with a ton of tools that are really easy to use and help you to make your games. One of these tools is Shader Graph, which I've actually been using a lot recently in this game, Berg, which you, if you, if you follow the main channel, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about because it's not out yet. But it's pretty cool. Uh, and all of the shaders in this are done using Shader Graph. Unity is free and at the link in the description you can actually get 30 days of a free Unity Pro trial. The trial lets you experience all of the pro features for 30 days for free. So make sure you snatch that up, uh, it helps me out and why not? Uh, yeah, there's this website called learnopengl.com and it has everything you need to learn to get started in OpenGL. You can even go down to like PBR and advanced lighting and all that stuff. First thing I want to do is try and render a triangle on the screen. So basically, what I think this is what it's saying is that we have like our origin point. This is zero, zero. And then we want to define some coordinates for a triangle. So, and then we'll connect all those up and have ourselves a beautiful triangle. Don't do OpenGL. Yes, I'm going to stop doing it now. Thank you for the help. Did you guys know that you might have a free Twitch Prime subscription? Oh my God, I forgot. Wait, I completely forgot. If you go to the like this bit here. Oh no, it's this bit, it's this bit. If you click on Brugs, you can basically, like you can earn these Brugs and then gamble them on this game that I made. Basic, all right, basically, if you haven't seen this before, we give two options and then a poll will pop up and you get to vote on which one you think it's gonna land in. I'm, I'm doing OpenGL now, right? It's, I've done this before. It's not lasted very long. So, do you reckon within one week I will be finished or I'll still be going? That's the question. It updates live. Okay, so we have 10 on either side right now. I want to see some big bets. Mikey with 2,000 brugs. Three, two, one, go. Oh no. Oh my god. <gasps> That was a quick one. Mikey has just robbed everybody else of their brugs. Back to OpenGL. Okay, so we use our program, bind our VAO, and then draw our arrays. All right, boys, get ready. We're about to see a triangle pop up on the screen. Never been done before. I did it in only 121 lines of code. Once again, never ever anyone has done that. And so, Let's go. Let's let's run the program and see if we get our triangle. Holy shit, it's perfect. Yeah, something, something seems a little off about it. Okay, let's try for the first ever time to look at our triangle in the game. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, look at that. Oh, is that a Oh, is that- who's clapping? Who's clapping? In fairness, we have a triangle. That wasn't too much work. If- If we go back and watch the VOD from last year, that took us like three days. Oh, look at that. Little periwinkle triangle. Alright. So, I actually know what is going to come up next. The EBO. And before we go there, I'm going to try and explain it myself to solidify my knowledge. Okay, so we have a square like that. And then if we connect all of those up, then we have to draw two triangles like this. Or like this. One of those two to draw this square, right? 
then we're actually duplicating vertices because we've got this triangle that is made up of these three vertices, but then we have this triangle, which is made up of these three. So we're sending data to the GPU twice for this uh, single vertex here. And so we have to use an element buffer object to assign indices to all of these. So for example, this is zero, one, two, three. And then we can say to draw this triangle, just draw triangle zero, one, two. And to draw the other triangle, draw triangle one, two, three. And then that way we, do, we can only send this data once. And then we draw, basically it's something like that. I don't know. Anyway, so now it's talking about how we want a indices. So we want to create a float array. All right, let's give it another run. You guys ready? You guys ready to see my triangle? I mean, not my triangle, my cute, my square. You guys ready to see my square? Might be a rectangle, who knows? Who cares? Not me. All right, guys, I need a standing ovation if this works. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. What'd I say? What'd I say? What'd I say? First time and everything. I'm getting really good at doing this all on the first try. Okay, that's, I think we're gonna do this tomorrow. But we do have something that we need to do right now. We're gonna have a bet. We're gonna see. Mikey, at the beginning of this stream, bet. 2,000 brooks and one with a return of 1.6 so the question that I pose to you is who is cooler me or Mikey all right three two one please don't be a quick one okay 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 come on what no Mikey <laughs> Where's your Brugs, mate? Where's your Brugs? Okay, so yesterday, all we got going was a little square on the screen. Uh, the square on the screen. So we've got this. We got this window with a square in it. And so what we want to do today is make some shaders. Uh, and I was going to do this yesterday, but I wanted to have a whole whole half of a video on it. Shaders are written in a C-like language, GLSL. GLSL is tailored... Okay, I can't be bothered. Uh, what was that? Chatterbox just cheered 50 bits. That's 50 million pounds. So, hang on. I want to try something here. Testing our knowledge. Include. Yeah, I don't know. I wanted to, like, try and animate them, but I guess we'll learn how to do that. Let's see if that works. Fingers crossed. Yes! Huge! Look at that! By the way, Baji, what are you doing? I'm just playing around with shaders. We're trying to, like, we're gonna try and get to the point where we can make something like 3D in OpenGL. Uh, but at the moment, all we're doing is, uh... Just playing around with shaders and trying to get some... I'm basically trying to make the square rotate. I just want to sit here and watch it. 